first one of the first shows I saw in my high school, and I was in grade school, and it kind of made me want to be an actor because it was really just so fantastic. And then I got to do it in college. I got to play Conrad, so it was fun. Yeah, I had a big pompadour and um, gold lame suit with kind of tight spandex pants. I don't know, sometimes, you know, you never know. What comes around, comes around. I might be wearing the gold I may again. I, I doubt it, because we want people usually want to sell tickets. I haven't seen it ever before, but I've heard the original cast recording, and I thought it was tremendous. And it's such a talented group of people. And I am a huge Bill Irwin fan. I'm so excited to see the play, but I'm very excited to see Gina perform this role. Um, she's got such a great personality and great energy, and I think it's going to be fun. Um, She's, she's quite a force to be reckoned with, so to see her take this on will be great. And John, you know, it's nothing wrong with watching him, right? John is a pro. He's been on ER. He's been on Full House. The guy was Blackie on uh, General, General Hospital. Hospital. You're talking about a professional. This is nothing for him. This is easy. And if he bombs, I'll run up on stage and take over. No problem. He won't bomb. He'll be great. Bye Bye Birdie on Broadway, yay! After 50 years, who'd have thunk it? Charles Strauss wrote these tunes that are indelible. I can't get them out of my head. You know, when I go home from work, they're still playing. Everyone you meet, like half of our stagehands, have been in the musical at some point. Big burly guys, that oh, was Hugo Peterson. Uh, it's a it's maybe in some ways the American musical. So many people are excited to see it again after all these years and young people are discovering it for the first time and they think it's very cool. Lee Adams and Mike Stewart, Mike particularly who, who passed away, uh, wrote the most clever book and uh, we had so much trouble getting it uh, on. Nobody uh, was at all interested in it. That audiences today like it and they seem to very much is terribly gratifying to me. It turned out the way that I hoped it would, which is a happy, optimistic, yes. positive show, exactly. which is what we need in this world right now, you know. Um, kids, I look out in the audience, I see these four-year-old kids, I see 90-year-old people. It's 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 a it's a rarity, this show, you know. Gray skies are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds and cheer up, put on a happy face. Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy, it's not your style. You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. The universal message is that there's always a generational gap between kids and their parents. I think that's going to come across to the parents taking their kids and the kids that go with their parents to the show. I mean, it's, it's honest, it's sweet. I wanted to maintain the spirit between the great parent-teenage divide, which I think only gets wider and wider. And that impulse kids have to chat and talk on the phone immediately after school, even if it's only been 15 minutes since they've seen each other, now with Twitter and, you know, it's, it's a different situation, but that impulse is the same to stay connected. The kids, are, you know, I mean, they're so incredible. So even if you're feeling like, oh, they're, they're so excited and they're so full of life that you just get excited with them. But, um, and John's great. We've had a good ride together. It's been incredible. I mean, Jane Hattyshell, Bill Irwin, John and Gina, um, Dee Hody, I just watch them all. And I learn so much just from watching them in action. I mean, they're such talented people. I behind my fan and do the tango. I'll be so Spanish, it'll make you see. I leave a taco and the enchilada. And I'll drink tequila till I feel no pain. Oh, the only song I sing will be Grumada. I'll be more Espanol than a Belain. I think everybody had a very crisp, um, a crisp vision. I, I think that's the way to describe it. You know, it's, it's very shiny and, uh, and flashy. And, uh, and I love that. Our costumes are incredible. Like, it's so much fun to watch. It makes me, <laughs> it makes me want to like, restart the 50s big poofy dress trend, kind of. Like, 
it'd be cool to walk around Times Square and have everyone wearing giant orange dresses. <laughs> it's a heart show. I mean, you, it, 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 to me, I, it bypasses the brand and goes to the heart, you know. It, it's a slice of Americana. It's um, it's happy. It's it's uh, it's just good, you know. I think it has something for everyone. You know, it's got the kids. It's got the romance. It's got the sex appeal. The music is amazing. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, you know, if the music wasn't great, I mean, who cares? I think it's exciting. You know, I think there's I think some, there's some really fun, exciting numbers in it, and uh, and it's also great because it's got such a familiar familiar score as well. I hope they will go home having laughed a lot and having been glad to hear these tunes and being ready to come back again because uh, we'll take repeat business.